wanted. What's inside? Honestly, I don't know. No, you know what? No, 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 no. This is not going to focus. Take a little time. Take off your Got to use the right tool for the job, or else you'll run into unwanted injuries. Okay. Oh, okay, it's a hermit shell case. Wait, why would they do it like this, though? Like, why wouldn't they just stacked on top of each other rather than sending this long awkward box. Okay, these came a lot sooner than I anticipated. I was thinking that it wouldn't come until March because they told me they weren't going to ship till March 1st. Or arrive here by March 1st, as you say. And lo and behold, they are here already. Oh, here's some papers. You can tell these are hermit shell because of the hermit that they have here. Yes, that red hermit. And it says it again over here. Hermit shell. Now let's sniff the insides. Um, well, you see... <laughs> I don't know, man. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. I might have to wash these. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting smell. Well, yeah, I don't know. Like, will my jelly comb fit inside of it? So, no, not the jelly comb. The Sage V2020. Let's test that and find out. Now, actually, I already have it inside of my computer, so I have to be careful. Make sure that it doesn't press down on the keys too hard. And yes, empty adequate space. It's a good sign. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Do you see how tight that is? But it's almost too wide to fit. Dang! But I can close though. So, if you have a Sage V2020 and you're wondering which case you need to house it, this is the one. Wow. Now, there's only one other keyboard I have that I'm very curious about, and that would be my HP C710, if I got the name from the top of my head correct. But yes, it's good to see that there's something that actually fits the Sage 2020. Now, I believe this is supposed to be for the Logitech 800 something something. I don't know the exact model from the top of my head. I think it's the 820, the 850, something like that. I don't have that keyboard. I don't plan on getting that keyboard. I just got this solely for my other keyboard. Okay, did I smell brush up on this keyboard? Because if I did, then that's not gonna be good. Let me stand away from it. Yeah, I kind of did. So you see, yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to wash these because I don't want that smell. Lots of people complain about the smell and they're like, oh, and maybe if I leave it out, it'll fix it. The truth is, is that you need to take a mild detergent Wash it with soap, air it out, and then that does the trick. And yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to do that for these because I don't think it seems like a good idea to just leave them as is. I'm kind of thinking I'm putting the keyboard straight away in it, but with a smell like that, I'm not sure. It's not overwhelmingly obnoxious or anything, but at the same time, you still want to just play it safe and just wash it. Now for that HP, but we actually first have to inspect this one. 
Make sure it's all good, the zippers are okay and everything. The smell test of this as well. Ah, yes. Smells like rubber and factories. <coughs> so now I can take this Hewlett and see if this fits. I sure hope that it does. I mean, even if it does fit, as I say, I'm not going to transfer it immediately because I don't want my keyboards smelling like rubber tire factory. No, um, a tire factory. It's not that kind of weird. Whew. All right. Made in China, of course. This looks like it should fit. But wow, man, that says V2020, though. That's a crazy tight fit. And yes, this fits. In fact, it even has a little bit of wiggle room. It's not like the seeds where it's just exact with the dimensions. And yes, it fits. Brilliant. So now I know that there's a case that exists house like the keyboards. So now I can push this away. Now there's something very important that I need to tell you and that is you're better off not buying these off of Amazon Canada because on Amazon Canada one alone at the time I'm making this video cost $66. Yes that's right 66 Now if you buy these from Amazon US. I have no idea if they sell them in Amazon Europe or not, or Amazon Japan. But from Amazon the United States is where I got these. These two together were, I think, somewhere between 90 to 100 Canadian. So if I were to get it directly from Amazon Canada, it would have cost me 132 Now, if you ask me, I do think that the price of these cases seems kind of high. I'm not sure why. They cost so much. Like when you look at this, this looks like something that should maybe cost twenty dollars at most. I'm not sure why it has to cost like. Well, I forget how much the shipping was because I know I know you have to pay for shipping too. But even with the shipping, when everything is combined, it just comes up to, uh, as I say, ninety to hundred Canadian versus paying hundred thirty two at the other place. I don't know why it costs so much on Amazon Canada, but it's very obvious that that is a really gross markup. So unless that vendor changes, then I don't recommend paying $66 for it. In fact, don't pay any more than maybe 40 to 50 Canadian at absolute most for these. I mean, if there is another case that's equally as good and cheaper, I'd honestly say go for it. Because I do think that, like I understand that it's supposed to protect your keyboard and that you want the zippers and whatever to be reliable. At the same time, it's like, do they really need to be so expensive? Like, when you just look at something like this, it's like, why? But you know, it's not to say that I hate it or anything, because I'm actually really, really glad that something does exist to house my Sage V2020. Is the Sage V2020 an extremely common keyboard? That, I do not know, but I have seen a fair bit of YouTubers around with it. Okay, now I'm saying a fair bit. I, I, I just say just some. I've seen some with it. But for the most part, it's not terribly common. In fact, if you were to go and just say, hey, do you know what a CDV 2020 is? Or do you own one? Most people would just probably be like, what? Pardon? What is that? Because, well, if you ask most people they're, about this, they'll probably just say, oh, wow, that's really colorful. Oh, that's really cute. Or, oh, it looks like a toy. Or, it looks like a typewriter. Opinions are very greatly, but I think most people can agree that it's not ugly and that it should brighten your office desk. So, I guess that's been it for this video. And uh, I'm gonna. Wait, where's the other one? Here it is. Bought these off of Amazon United States of America. I'll have direct links to them. Actually, hmm, do I wanna give you direct links or should I hoard them for myself? Not kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, fine, I'll give you direction links. But I need to make sure that I hoard some for myself first so I can house on my big keyboards before they run out of stuff. There may be a, another manufacturer that makes this really big keyboard case for these large keyboards, but at this time, it does not seem like there's very much. So I'm going to need to make sure that I have enough for my current big keyboards and future big keyboards. Ouch.